Well, hey folks, how's it all going in? Oh man, scroll saw. Oh, and another scroll saw. So we're gonna do some scroll sawing today. I, I tell you what folks, a lot of people see what can be done on a scroll saw and they purchase them and then they get frustrated because they can't do the fancy stuff that they saw somebody else do or saw pictures of what somebody else did. Uh, folks, I'm just an amateur too. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go through some scroll saw basics. We're actually gonna make something on the scroll saw. Uh, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing. Well, you don't have to watch any of it if you don't want. But uh, if you're really interested in scroll saws, uh, this one right here, this was a deal of a lifetime. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. This thing is over 20 years old. Uh, obviously it was made by Sears, but it was one of these C-arm designs where they have this uh, cast iron C and then it just tensions back there. And it, it really makes for good cuts. And this is on the totally <laughs> opposite spectrum when it came to price at the time. That was probably uh, <clears throat> when it was brand new, sold for probably around a thousand bucks. This one, brand new, 110 bucks. But uh, there are some differences in these machines. And we're gonna show you, you know, the differences. I mean, this may be good enough for you or you may wanna get something uh, a little bit fancier like that. But let's take a look at what we're gonna scroll saw. All right, so this is what we're gonna scroll saw today. Uh, <clears throat> my wife and I are gonna become grandparents for the first time, we're very, very proud. And uh, so I thought I'd make my wife a little thing, world's best grandma. Uh, I've got, I found this online. There's a guy online who doesn't charge anything for these. You can download them and print them. And uh, he's got just hundreds and probably over a thousand patterns you can download. And uh, he does a really nice job. Uh, his name is Steve, Steve, and uh, Steve does a really, and you know, like I said, visit Steve if you're in the scroll saw. And if, if you are, you probably already know his site. Um, to attach this, I use some of the spray adhesive, uh, just the light duty stuff, spray the back of the paper. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do, cause you got a bunch of internal cuts here. <clears throat> Every single one of these are an internal cut and that that's time consuming cause you gotta take the blade off put the blade back on uh, inside the O, the R, the D, um, the two Bs. So what we're gonna do there, I'll tell you what, let's get, let's get over to the drill press to show you that. All right, so over at the drill press, I'm gonna drill a hole so I can get my uh, saw blade through there. We'll take it off the top, the top, top light um, holder, put it through, saw cut that out, take it out, and then we'll go over to the M to D. Uh, up on the B, <clears throat> what I try to do is size this correctly so I can get that whole radius of the B. And in fact, if you wanted to, I mean, you wouldn't even have to, where are you here? Oh, there you are. If you wanted to, <clears throat> you wouldn't even have to, uh, you wouldn't even have to uh, take that out, but I'll, I'll square it up a little bit. And I'll do the same thing to that one. Uh, the, the R is the same way, is that you could take and uh, do it up there too. So I'm going to continue drilling, <clears throat> and then we'll see you back over by the scroll saw. All right, so let's talk about blades for a second here. There are two different styles when it comes to holding. One's called pin style, and you can see it right there. Another one is just a straight blade like this. Uh, you can see the pin, pin style right up here. It holds it in a pin. There's no clamping. Uh, you would say you would think well why, why would you want to go the other way and the, the difference is is because with the pin style because of the pin it limits how narrow your blade can be so you as you can see there's a big difference here between these two so this blade can cut a much tighter radius than this blade can so you know that's that's the big difference uh, my opinion is if you're gonna if you're gonna get into scroll sawing to go with this go with this type uh, most scroll saws come, they can be set, uh, can changed out either way. The, this Wen scroll saw has a set of blade holders so you can put the thinner ones in. Uh, but uh, I have a tendency just to use those all the time. And that's what's set up in the Craftsman. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of scrolling. All right, so before we start, we got to tension the blade. And on, everyone's got a different way of doing it. But on this one, uh, we've got this lever in the back. And then you can turn this in order to tighten it up. And you're saying, well, how... How tight should I get it? So what you do is you kind of like uh, tune in a guitar, I guess. You would just, I don't want it just a little bit tighter. A little bit. A 
and that that sound that sounded pretty good. So let, let's uh, let's fire it up. Now, a lot of these have variable speed, and this one's this one's no different. Right now it's on high, and you can go wherever you want. We see we got a light there. That light's pretty nice. So let's just uh, get you moved here. And let's just do a cut going down the side. Just get a feel for it. So that's what it looks like. Now let's let's go over to the other scroll saw and I want to show you some differences. All right, making some progress here. This is about 40 minutes worth of work and I, I don't, like I said, I, I'm not a scroll saw expert. Uh, I just want to show you how we uh, take the blade off and put it in the next one. So we've got this that goes in. It just holds the blade holder steady. And then I can, I always give it just a little bit tighter using, using my adjustable here. And it's, it just needs a little turn and then it loosens it and blade comes off. You, like I said, I untensioned this. Uh, you want to make sure that you're putting the tension back down, take the blade out, and then you can see our hole in the D, the other part of the D. I want to find that. And if you're old like me with eyesight that's failing, it's sometimes it's a little hard to thread the hole. Um, where are you? Oh, come on. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so then, uh, after you found the hole, and you put it in, and you tighten up this clamp, just get it tight a little bit by hand, and then we put our bar there. What that does is this whole clamping thing pivots here, and we want to keep it steady. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a turn here with my adjustable. Not much. I just want to make sure she's good and tight. And uh, take this off, and then we want to retighten. That's pretty good right there. And we'll continue on going on. All right, back to scrolling here. You can see we changed scroll saws around the when now. This is that one I got for 110 bucks. Uh, let's take a look why. Uh, <laughs> I had a blade break and I went to change the blade on the uh, Craftsman and the uh, blade holder snap. There it is in its glory. They're all in pieces. Um, <clears throat> it took me a while to figure out how to get that roll pin out and that's why you see it the way it is right now. I had to take the, the top off, uh, the side arm off, and then I uh, had to use a 2x4 I drilled a hole in. You brace that up against the concrete wall, then use the uh, use the punch to get that rolled pin out of there. I was online on Saturday with uh, Sears Robot Parts Online, and supposedly they have one, and they're sending it to me for twelve bucks. So, for twelve bucks, I'll put it into this because this is really a nice scroll saw, and I don't want to throw it away just yet. Uh, it did give me an opportunity to play around with the air system a little bit, and I think I got that a little bit bigger figured out. So. Uh, <clears throat> This scroll saw right here for 110 bucks, it does the job, it's really slow. Uh, I put the pin style blade holder in it, and you can see how that is. It just hooks right up on top of where that pin is, it hooks up on there, and the same on the bottom. You have a thumb screw, and it's really kind of hard to thread it in there, but uh, you know, I'm scrolling. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little look, see if it's scrolling, like I said, it's slow, and uh, we'll keep on going. All right, I thought I'd just show you a little bit here with this when. It's got this nice light, but what it does is that, and I'll just turn on here. See that, see that shadow it gives you? I'll tell you what, that, that, that's, that is confusing as heck. It, it, when you get turned in a certain way, 
It, it looks like it's your line. Nice light though. Like I said, this thing is works. It's a little bit on the slow side. Not very aggressive, but what do you expect for small small scroll saw? Also, clamping this thing down is is a must. Well, like right now, look at how the line and the shadow are almost the same. That is freaky. I said it's got to be clamped down. I got two good clamps on this. And it's only going to go as fast as it's going to go. You, you, you try and push it, and you're just going to break blades. So just uh, go with what it's willing to do for you. Give you a couple more look -sees. Well, folks, I figured I'd give you an update before it was done. <laughs> and, yeah, and it's done. I'm sorry about that. But I did screw out just a little bit of this uh, sunshine there, painted yellow. Uh, I've been really getting into using shellac on all my stuff, and uh, I've got both the, the colored and the clear. And the clear went on the uh, on the pine there, and then I used the uh, the amber on the oak on the bottom. Turned turn out pretty nice. And in all, uh, use two scroll saws with this. Uh, differences? Do they both work? Yeah. Uh, changing the blade and. Um, like I said, we, we swapped out the wen here and took off the pin style and put in the regular style so we could get into all those little holes. Uh, you know, all those little holes ended up being a real pain in the butt, folks, uh, because what happens is the way that this is situated on there is that when you go to take this one off and what happens is the bottom one actually comes out also. So it, it just, it, it just, slides out here I'm trying to do this on camera sorry but that bottom one just slides out by itself too so you got to put them both back on and it's um, I, I can't wait till I get my parts still haven't gotten the parts for the craftsman here uh, gosh I can't wait to get that back online so that we can keep on going here uh, but does this little $110 one work oh, yeah it does it's slow but uh, is it a lot nicer having a more expensive uh, scroll saw, yes it is, but not when it's broke down. So there it is, folks. Uh, Tom Horseman on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, appreciate you watching. Thank you.